What's up, YouTube? I'm Guy, and today I wanted to talk about something that I was thinking about, and that is, what type of collector am I? And what type of collector are you? Obviously, I want to get your feedback down in the comments, so as you're watching this, take a few minutes and let me know. What type of collector are you? I did a live stream the other day with David, who is the administrator and founder of a couple of Facebook groups that I am a member of, Horology 101 and Hamilton Watch Owners Group. If you want to talk general watches with a great group of people, head over to Horology 101 on Facebook. I'll have a link down below. If you're a big Hamilton Watch fan, there's a dedicated group just for that brand, Hamilton Watch Owners. I'll have that link down below as well. Head over there if you'd like to, uh, you know, talk Hamilton watches. But anyway, in that live stream with David, we were talking for a while now, uh, or, or a while, I should say, 45, 50 minutes, something like that. It was a good live stream. If you haven't seen it, go back into my library and find that. But at one point during the stream, we were talking about what type of collectors we are. And I wanted to kind of come up with this list of the common types of collectors. So here's my, my list of the types of collectors that I think exist. I might be missing a few, and if you think of any other types of collectors, uh, you know, put those down in the comment as well. Uh, but let's roll with that thought. So the first type of collector is the one watch collector, which really isn't a collector at all, is it? It's somebody that is just a one watch guy. It's actually the type of person that, in a way, I sort of envy. Somebody that can buy one watch. Usually it is like the best watch they can afford and they appreciate it. They aren't just obsessed with constantly changing watches. They just have this one watch and that's it. It tells the time. It's something that they're proud of. It's something that they wear every single day. Yeah, I am a little bit envious of that guy to be satisfied with just one watch. That would be really cool. I think that if I didn't do the YouTube thing, maybe I could be a one watch guy. Uh, probably at a minimum though, I think it would be a two watch collector. The next type of collector is what I like to call the small ball collector. This is the guy that has maybe two, probably three, possibly four watch collection and that's it. It's somebody that's put a lot of time, dedication, and thought into building their collection, whether it's a handful of affordable watches or three, four really nice high-end watches. Regardless, they spent a lot of time and effort curating this perfect collection. They're absolutely content with what they have. They don't feel the need to go any further than that. That's sort of what I aspire to be. I talked about this a little bit in an, maybe one or two other videos. I have been adopting this concept of less is more and trying to get away from the type of person or the type of collector that is just constantly acquiring and acquiring and acquiring and is never truly satisfied. I want to be satisfied with the small collection of watches that I have. And, and yeah, that's, that's the guy that I want to be. Maybe someday I'll, I'll, I'll get enough self-control to, to actually get there. The next type of collector is the serial flipper. He's kind of like the small ball collector, except he wants to taste all of that variety that there is to be had in this hobby. So they probably have a couple of watches, but they're constantly flipping them to try new watches. So it's get a new watch in, wear it for a little while, sell it, get a new watch in, rinse and repeat. The serial flipper is probably, oh, I don't know, a little bit more obsessive than the small ball collector. He probably is not quite sure what it is that he's looking for and maybe doubts himself a little bit and, and wants to try a little bit of everything without getting so deep deeply invested financially as to break the bank. It's not really a bad way to go, actually. If you want to get all of that variety that there is out there, being a serial flipper can most certainly work. And, uh, you know, I know a couple of you guys out there are, in fact, serial flippers. What's a serial flipper that doesn't flip? Well, they're a hoarder. And that's probably the, I guess, the, what is that, the fourth type of collector that I most certainly have identified. Somebody that has dozens, maybe multiple dozens of watches, maybe even a hundred or more watches in their collection. They are 
the type of person that just wants one of everything. Now, I can't say that that's wrong. N nothing is wrong with, with being a, a watch hoarder, if you will. If that's what makes you happy, if that's what you like to do, by all means, it's your money, it's how you enjoy this hobby, and I, I don't hold that against you. I was starting to become the hoarder, though, and I had to slam on the brakes. Probably a year or more ago, I had not a ton of watches, but a, a watch case full, uh, 12 or maybe a couple of extra even watches. And they were cool watches. There was a lot of really good, high-quality, high-value watches in that collection. Things from Seiko, most notably, several G-Shocks, some Hamilton watches, a lot of watches that I really liked. But I just realized I wasn't getting to wear them, some of them hardly at all. And I had to, again, pump the brakes on being a hoarder. And didn't do a complete 180. I didn't go down to being that one watch guy. But yeah, now I'm trying to play a little bit of small ball. If you're a hoarder, let me know in the comments how many watches are in your collection. I would be interested to find out who holds the record here for the most watches. So the last style of collector is going to be somebody that's a hybrid of several or almost all of the types of collectors. Certainly not a one watch guy, but maybe a little bit of everyone else. We'll call him the connoisseur. He's a little bit of the small ball collector in terms of spending a ton of time and effort curating his collection. He's a little bit of a serial flipper because he probably has bought some watches that didn't end up working out because he buys a few more watches than that small ball player does. And we all make mistakes. We can never truly know exactly how a watch is going to work for us until we put the money down and we have it for a little while. Finally, he's probably a bit of a hoarder. Not so much in the same way as a hoarder might do a lot of impulse buying, but nevertheless, he probably has a relatively large collection. So those are my thoughts on the five different types of collectors in this hobby. Again, if I didn't think of some, let me know what other types you can think of and uh, put that down in the comments. And finally, let me know what type of collector you are. I would be interested in hearing about that. Let me say thank you for tuning in. As always, I appreciate it. If you'd like to help support the channel, down in the description of this video and every video I do is a way, a list of ways that you can help me. Uh, first of all, following me on social media, be it Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, would be fantastic. You could also support me on Patreon, and a big thank you to the guys that have been supporting me over on Patreon. I really do appreciate that help. And finally, I always have links in my description to Amazon through my affiliate account. If you like anything that I've reviewed and you want to purchase it or anything else for that matter, click on my affiliate link first. I get a small commission. Those commissions most certainly do add up and help support the channel. Big thanks. And yeah, that's going to do it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye now.